I've been coming to Coots Kenny for as long as I can remember. The doctor said that I wouldn't be able to do a lot of things, but I can. She's very determined. <laughs> She's very determined. A little too much determined. <laughs> Justice has Prader-Willi syndrome. It's a non-inherited genetic disorder that affects chromosome 15. It affects growth, muscle tone, appetite, um, the ability to regulate her temperature. With Justice, the biggest problem that she has is her low muscle tone. Um, it causes her to stumble a lot. It causes her to have poor balance, to not be able to do the typical things that a child is able to do. My very first name is Erin. I like to play with Erin. Okay, go climb up there. I started working with Justice four years ago. Our biggest goal right now for Justice is to work on her core strength. Her scoliosis continues to get worse, which is why she's in the brace. We want to get her core strength as strong as we can so that she can have better posture and not have to have surgery in the future. The therapy that Justice and I work on in the clinic is working on coordination skills, getting her to be able to jump rope, to skip, to improve her core strength, so we do a lot of work with a therapy ball. Justice loves to do crafts, so we have her over a therapy ball, and she's working on her back strength while she's doing a craft, so that really motivates her to work hard on her strengthening because she's doing something that she really enjoys. Justice and I in therapy have been working on our multi-layer swing, and that swing is really fun for her because she has to use every single muscle in her body to be able to climb through the different layers. She has a lot of hip pain, so the pool provides an opportunity for her to not have any pain because she can do these activities, she can play without worrying about her hips and her back hurting. When I go to the pool, I work on like doing like big kicks and in the pool, we've been doing that to strengthen my hips so they won't hurt. We also have her pushing off the side of the pool so that she can work on strengthening her legs. We also work on improving her abdominal strength. And we have a lot of fun with that, using our Zoom ball where we can pull on the ball and send it back and forth to each other. We also work on her balancing on our duck float where she has to keep an upright posture while we're throwing the ball back and forth to each other. So it's a great environment for her to feel free to use her body in a way that's easier than when she's on land and it doesn't hurt. If I don't go see Anne, my back starts to hurt and my neck hurts and then I and I also miss Erin. Erin and I are friends. Erin and Justice's relationship is like, I think that if people came to our house and heard Erin's name, they'd be like, oh, is that your other sibling? Like, that's how much she talks about Erin. She's learned to trust me and I have such a great time when I'm with her. She has come a really long way. And overall, I've seen that she feels more comfortable playing with those around her. The confidence, I cannot even tell you how much more confident she is because of the work that happens here. She feels more like she belongs, more like, I hate to use the word typical, but just a typical child. She's just one of the kids hanging out at school. Justice now can ride a bike and she can just do like a lot of things that normal kids do that she wasn't able to do before now. Being able to strengthen her hips has made it possible for her to ride a horse, which she loves to do now. She's just gotten stronger. She doesn't ever want limits. Put no, on her, ever. She doesn't like that. No limits. But she has a heart of gold. She is the most compassionate child you will ever meet. She wants to save the world. <laughs> she does. We go to South Africa and she loves the children and we go and we'll make food and we'll feed some of the kids that are in orphanages and different areas and she hugs them and loves them and she really just deeply cares. We're very grateful for Courage Kenny Kids because without them I know that Justice would not be where she is. I know she's become a stronger person. Well, I know for a fact that she has grown emotionally and physically because of 
everything that's happened here at Courage Kenny Kids. And she's happy. She's so happy. <laughs> she is happy. She is happy. <laughs> Which makes me happy.